Morning, Rod with Marine How To here, and today we're looking at how to discover lithium iron phosphate battery balancing issues when you don't have a Bluetooth BMS. So, balancing issues can be a problem, and right over here we have a battery that uh, we use up on the homestead for monitoring security cameras. Actually, what we do is we put them out with the security camera, fully charged, and then we let them sit there for about six or so months and then we go swap them out with a different fully charged battery. And it's been working great for about four years. It's awesome. As you can see back there, I got a whole collection of them because <laughs> I, I swap them out, I bring them home, I test them, make sure they're okay. Well, this battery for some reason will not charge beyond 12.5 volts. And the problem is that it's got a balance, out of balance cells, which I assume is causing a voltage trigger on one cell which cuts off the pack. And so what I've been able to do in the past is lower the charge voltage and the charging current. As you can see right now, I have it set to 0.4 amps at 13.6 volts. This is even a linear power supply. This is a pretty, pretty decent quality. It's not a pulse width modulated. I thought, well, maybe the BMS is having trouble with PWM, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So what I'm going to do now, we can see the battery's at 12.5. I'm going to put on the output. It's set to 13.6 volts and 0.4 amps. This is a seven amp hour battery. We'll see what happens here. We can see the voltage climbing over here. And uh, when this goes to 0 0.026 amps, that means that BMS has made the battery disconnect. And the reason for that is that we have an out of balance cell that's causing a voltage trigger. And it's been doing this right around 12.6, which is very odd. I rarely ever see them this low, but it happens. Any second now we'll see that change. There we go. It just shut off. Now that point zero two five amps is only powering the LED. There's a little voltage display on the top of this battery. You can see if I turn off the battery because it has a power switch that uh, it's still powering the BMS. That that's just the internal draw. Now look at that. Look at the voltage fall. That's because the battery didn't get much of a charge and it only got up to about twelve point six something volts before it disconnected. There we go. It just disconnected again. I didn't catch what the voltage was, but this battery has a bad cell or very out of balance and without a Bluetooth BMS there's really no way to tell what's going on inside the battery. I'll have to cut this battery open in order to, to determine what's going on with the cells. But this scales up to full-size batteries as well, 100 amp hour, 200 amp hour. If you don't have a BMS and your battery is disconnecting below 14 volts or 14.2 or 14.4 or 14.6 you have a balance issue. And the way that you can solve that is by keeping, what you have to do is get your balance voltage or your charging voltage right at the voltage where your battery starts to balance. And a lot of batteries don't publish this data. They should, but they don't. So let's say that's 3.45 volts per cell or about 13.8 volts or so. That's where you want to set your, your voltage and you want to set your current low. And by doing that and holding it just at the point or just slightly above where it starts to balance and at a low current you will balance the cells eventually it just takes time hope this helps okay now what I've done I've gone back in and I've reduced the charging current down to 0.2 amps it's still at 13.6 volts which it never gets to this disconnects at about 12.610 roughly it's hard to watch both screens but I'm going to turn it back on and we'll see what happens probably catch it better in the video than I can with my eyes I'm watching this and this at the same time. When this gets to about 6.10, you'll see it disconnect. There we go. 0 0.026 is only the amperage required to power the uh, little display in the BMS inside. That's it. 